Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 15 December 2019. I am Sagan Nandi, designer and developer of Q Trading Systems and Techniques. I used to work in IT, mostly in Singapore. I retired several years ago and nowadays I am living in Thailand. Swing trading stocks. You may contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Trading Profitably. I share the weekly market roundup video as well as other videos in this channel. I also share stock analysis regularly both for the USA market as well as for the India market in my traders forum sagarnandi.com and the Twitter page sagarnandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let's go through the disclaimer first. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. Then I will demonstrate how you can use the complete 360 degrees analysis to identify trades, that is trading opportunities where the market, sector industry, fundamental and technical, all the forces are aligned. They tend to generate truly low-risk, high-probability trades. That was the last slide of the presentation. Now I'll continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis with US oil, the oil ETF. I'm analyzing it using the weekly backdrop chart template and the daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart oil is inside a triangle pattern formed by the resistance memory trend line at the top and support memory trend line at the bottom. The same is true in the daily chart also. Price is near the upper edge of the triangle pattern. This is not a location where I suggest taking any long trade. If you were following my previous weekly market roundups, then you would know that when price came here, Right on that day, I suggested that you might look for a buying opportunity in oil if price reversed from there. That was based on a memory support line that was there at that price level. Since then, price indeed went up. Now price is at the upper edge of the sideways range. This is not where you may look for a buying opportunity. What can be the possible next trade in oil? If price reverses from the memory resistance line, then you may look for a low risk short entry. Alternatively, if price breaks out of the memory resistance, then pulls back and goes up again, then you may look for a 
low risk buying opportunity using the go with flow trend following long trade setup right now i will stay away from taking any new trade in oil gold etf gld overall it is in a downtrend in the weekly chart you can see the resistance memory trend line but there is no support memory trend line at the bottom though it is in a longer term downtrend the weekly backdrop candle color was magenta earlier one week ago it turned to neutral yellow and this week it turned to bullish cyan there is a memory resistance so you may not look for a buying opportunity using daily chart however it is looking more bullish than one week ago or two weeks ago in the daily chart price is inside a triangle pattern created by the resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom there is another memory support line here if you look at the last three days candles you can see that price is being supported very nicely by this memory support line every time price is touching the support line it is going up from there looking at that pattern if next week again price comes to the same memory support and reverses from there you may look for a low risk buying opportunity because there is a resistance memory nearby and price is coming to the tip of the triangle pattern you may not look for a buying opportunity using daily interval instead you may switch to intraday time frame see if price comes to this memory support level in the intraday time frame and reverses from there that will allow you to take a very low risk entry in the long direction after commodities analysis i continue with the market level analysis this is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that i carry out every week starting with the s p 500 etf spy this week it made a new all-time high looking back price has gone up continuously for the last 10 weeks price is overbought in the weekly chart for many weeks now can it continue to go up yes it can continue to go up if we look back further at this point it went up almost in a straight line for 19 successive weeks and now we see spy has gone up for 10 weeks it can certainly go up further in the daily chart price is near the upper boundary level it is overbought in the daily chart also when price is overbought i avoid taking any new long trade and spy is clearly bullish therefore there is no short trading opportunity right now if you had a long position taken earlier you may continue to hold that with a trailing stop nasdaq etf qqq similar picture same conclusion price made a new all-time high it is overbought in the weekly chart overbought in the daily chart in the daily it is close to the upper boundary level i will avoid taking any new long trade if you enter the long trade earlier you may continue to hold that with the trailing stop dow jones industrial etf dia is similar but weaker pattern 
it made a new all time high this week however the weekly candle color is yellow neutral unlike SPY and QQQ where the weekly backdrop candle color was cyan bullish the relative performance is tilting down that is also showing that it is underperforming the market in the daily price is close to the upper boundary level daily price is overbought weekly is also overbought the same conclusion i will avoid taking any new long trade in dia Russell 2000 ETF IWM price made a new yearly high this week though it is significant distance away from the previous all time high price is overbought in the weekly chart though it is not overbought in the daily chart anymore in the daily price is close to the upper boundary level I will avoid taking any long trade and there is no short trade setup therefore I will stand aside from taking any new trade in IWM that completes my market level analysis what is the conclusion the market is clearly bullish when the market is bullish you may look for trades in the long direction in which sectors you will look for that in the strongest sectors that we can find out from the sector rotation analysis after market level i do the next level of analysis that is the sector level analysis using one month sector performance the red bar represents this week performance green bar previous week's performance and the blue bars two weeks performance before that together they represent one month of sector performance any bar to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week seven of the sectors went up four went down that is showing overall bullishness at the sector level which sectors went down real estate healthcare, consumer staples, communication services. They are more defensive sectors. That is also showing bullishness at the sector level. At the same time, if you compare with previous week's performance, that time nine sectors were up, two were down. And this week, seven are up and four are down. That is showing that though the sector level is overall bullish, it weakened a peak from the previous week. This is another look at the sector performance, one week sector performance. Earlier I showed that this week sector performance is bullish but weaker than previous week. And that weakness was more pronounced on friday on friday only two sectors went up nine went down and that happened after the news of the phase one trade deal between china and the usa became public which two sectors went up infotech but that went up by a very small percentage you may say infotech was practically unchanged the other sector that went up by a reasonable percentage was utilities that was a defensive sector all the other sectors materials industrials healthcare financials energy consumer staples consumer discretionary communication services the nine sectors went down that is showing that on friday the sectors were bearish that itself is not enough for us to start taking short trades we will look at the weekly performance to decide the overall market direction and try to align the trades with that direction going by that 
we will continue to look for buying opportunities low risk buying opportunities where the forces from the market sector industry fundamental and technical all are aligned the sector graphs help you see how the sectors are transitioning from strength to weakness or vice versa however that picture is much clearer from this sector scorecard and heat map here i can see the strength or weakness of the sectors using scores and heat map across the 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 day 5 day etc cyan is bullish and magenta is bearish other than the score card you may also look at the pace column that shows acceleration deceleration cyan is acceleration and magenta is deceleration for swing trading we are going to look for the strongest sectors in this week what are the strongest sectors now energy and infotech out of that infotech had been bullish for a long time and it is also the second strongest sector right now the best buying opportunities in infotech might have passed long time ago so there may still be low risk buying opportunities probably not bottom catching opportunities but trend following or even breakout long opportunities you may contrast that with energy energy was weak in fact it was the weakest sector for a long time and now it became the strongest sector if you remember my previous market roundup the video is in my youtube channel you would know that in that roundup one week ago itself i showed that energy turned to be the strongest sector and i suggested looking for buying opportunities at that time one week ago the 5 day score showed it was very strong 10 day score showed it was very strong and at that time the month one score was still bearish and that changed this week the month one score has turned very strong the second best performer and 10 day and 5 day scores are remaining the best performer using the very visual cue from this scorecard and heat map you could buy the energy stocks right at the time the sector was starting to turn from magenta to cyan by doing that you could probably buy some fundamentally strong energy stocks well ahead of others as i always say the sector level is quite broad to make more accurate trading decisions when you are looking for buying opportunities you may look for that in the strongest industries and you can find the strongest industries easily from the industry scorecard and heat map these are the industries that are strongest now with cyan color score over 5 day that is one week period out of them some of the industries were weaker earlier like oil and gas storage and transportation like oil and gas exploration and production like oil and gas equipment and services they were very weak earlier and now turning into strength we saw the sector is also turning into strength if you further drill down to identify fundamentally strong stocks that are going up you could buy stocks with forces from market sector industry fundamental technical all the levels aligned together these are the trades that i call 360 degree trades and they tend to be truly low risk high probability trades 
as these industries were weak for a long time, you would anticipate the trades to be more of bottom catching nature or maybe trend following or breakout at a very low price level instead of expecting them to be breakout at the top kind of trades. What after you enter a trade that you identified using the powerful 360 degrees analysis? You manage it using the same powerful analysis of the technicals, fundamentals, industry strength. Let me illustrate with four examples. And as usual, I will not look back on a chart and explain how you could have, would have, should have made a lot of profit, but instead take examples that I shared in the public forum using live analysis. Let me focus on four examples that I shared in the USA category. One of them was on CNC. I'm going to search for the post. I shared this trade idea on 7th November. Will CNC give a trend following long opportunity? Let's look at the 360 degrees analysis that I shared at that time. The managed healthcare CNC's industry was becoming stronger and right on that day using the one day score I saw it was one of the strongest industries. The pace columns showed that the industry was accelerating. In terms of fundamentals, the stock was undervalued with robust earnings quality and it had positive earnings and revenue growth as well. Fundamentally, the stock was looking strong. Technically, the weekly was bullish and the daily was about to give a go with flow trend following long trade setup. This was shared during the market hours. This was shared on 7th November. Let me now switch to the live charts to illustrate how I manage the trade. This is CNC as of Friday's market close. I shared the trade idea on this day. The initial stop loss would be just below the recent low. As price went up from there, once the risk distance was covered, you could book at least partial profit. That's what I did. After that, price went up further and then it displayed a possible reversal signal, the headwind signal. Looking at that, I tightened stop, but I didn't exit the train. Price came down little bit and then went up again hit the watermark resistance and came down sharply again giving a magenta flow color candle that was the point i exited the remaining position my entry price was below this level so i had significant profit on the remaining position after booking partial profit on the initial position that is how I managed the CNC trade. What about the trailing stop? Let's switch to the template that has the Q protection signal that is used for trailing stop. These magenta dots represent the stop for the long positions. This was my entry day. After that, as price went up, I booked partial profit on this day and continued to move trailing stop. On this day, I exited full position without waiting for the trailing stop to be hit. 
if I didn't exit the position based on the magenta flow color candle I would have been stopped out anyway at this price level this should be the trailing stop which would be hit on this Friday whether you use the trailing stop or you used the reversal candle very bearish shape candle at the very top after a bearish headwind signal that came around this price level whatever approach you used you would exit the remaining position with a very significant profit that was an example of a 360 degrees trade in a stock that was undervalued as well as having earnings growth and technically it gave a trend following long trade setup well of the price extreme or pendulum low let me take another example now that I shared that was on CLF time to buy the steel stock started 23 days ago this was my initial analysis steel industry was very strong on that day 22nd November and earlier it was very weak it was starting to strengthen in terms of fundamentals I found the stock CLF undervalued stock with a short squeeze potential robust earnings quality as well on that day when I shared it around 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the stock was up by 6.7 percent and this was how the technical chart looked like it was at pendulum low or price extreme low just on that day it came out of price extreme low with high activity and it broke out of the memory auto smart trend line resistance that is broke out of the triangle pattern with bullish relative performance bullish shape bullish color candle at the right edge that gave a breakout long trade candidate at price extreme low in an undervalued stock how did I manage the CLF trade I shared the long trade idea on this day as a breakout trade candidate the stop loss would be just below the recent low after that price went up little bit then it fell down sharply with a gap down open but recovered significantly by the end of that day this drop was associated with the announcement that CLF acquired another steel company AKS Steel interestingly the Q protection signal stop loss was not touched so I remained in the trade after that price recovered vertically when it kept to this price level more than risk distance was covered and I exited partial position I am holding partial position with trailing stop let's have a look at the stop levels by the way as you can see I have set all the Q templates that I use in the menu bar I can simply click on the respective menu item to switch to a different chart template quickly this is the same stock CLF with the Q protection signal my initial sharing was on this day stop loss would be at this Q protection level which was not hit even by this large gap down day 
I exited partial position at a pre-planned exit level around this price level and I have put the trailing stop on the remaining position at this level indicated by the Q protection signal. My current stop loss level on the remaining position is above my entry price. Therefore, even if the stock comes down and hits the trailing stop, I will exit the remaining position with a profit and I have already exited partial position with a bigger profit. On the other hand, if the stock continues to go up from here, I will have even larger profit from the remaining position. That was an example of a breakout trade setup at price extreme or pendulum low in a stock that was undervalued. I will now continue with the third example that was on CERN. I shared the idea one month ago. In this trade setup I was using both trend line support and resistance to take the trade and I was using the 360 degrees analysis as usual. Sun's industry, healthcare technology was strong on that day and it turned from weakness to strength. In terms of fundamentals, the stock was having medium valuation but with earnings growth as well as revenue growth. And on that day I shared the long idea. Most of the stocks in the peer group, 12 of the 14 stocks in CERN's peer group were How was the technicals? In the weekly, it had pulled back and came to the memory trendline support and precisely turned up from there with a bullish shape, bullish color candle. In the daily, right on that day, it broke out of the triangle pattern with heavy activity. This gave a breakout long trade setup that was also supported by a long term weekly memory support line. How did I manage the trade? Let's switch to the live charts. This is CERN as of Friday's market close. I shared the breakout long trade idea on this day. Initial stop would be just below recent low. After that, as price went up, it covered more than the risk distance and I exited partial position. I am now holding the remaining position with a trailing stop. Where is the trailing stop? Let's switch to the stop level template. When I entered the trade on this day, the stop was at this level, decided by Q protection signal. Then as price went up, hit my initial profit target, I exited partial position and I lifted my stop loss to this level. In the last few days, the stop level has gone up. You may use the Q protection signal in different ways. You may move the stop to successive swing lows once the initial profit is booked. Another way is to keep trailing it as the price goes up. You may learn about both these techniques from the tutorial videos that I have put together. Under tutorial category, you will find multiple videos. One of them is about how to use the 
hop off template. This is the template that has the queue protection signal. From this tutorial, you can see the different ways that the queue protection signal can be used to apply initial stop, break even stop, as well as trailing stop. That was CERN, and there you could take a breakout trade in a stock that was medium valued in terms of valuation and that was also in the middle of the price range in terms of pendulum moves it was neither at pendulum or price extreme low nor was it at pendulum or price extreme high as i promised let me share one more example that was on a gold mining stock ssrm If you wanted to buy a gold miner, you might buy this one shared 16 days ago on 29th November. This was my 360 degrees analysis shared on 29th November in the morning session around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time using the real time sector industry analysis i found gold mining industry to be one of the strongest looking at that i started to look for buying opportunities i found this stock ssrm it was having medium valuation with excellent earnings growth and a short squeeze potential on that day, out of the seven stocks in the PR group, six were up. And when I shared it, the stock SSRM was up by 2.4%. Technically, I saw weekly was bullish, backdrop color was bullish, shape was also bullish, and in daily, it was breaking out of the triangle pattern with bullish relative performance that gave a possible breakout long candidate in this stock. Price was neither at price extreme high nor at price extreme low. The pendulum color was yellow, therefore it was in the middle of its price range. How did I manage the trend? I shared the long idea in SSRM on this day. The initial stop loss could be just below recent low. As price went up, it covered more than risk distance and I exited partial position. I am holding partial position with a trailing stop. Again, let's look at the stop levels. Initially, when I took the breakout trade, the stop was at this level. That was initial stop loss. As price moved up after I entered the long position, covered more than risk distance, I exited partial position and using the Q protection signal, this is my current stop level, which is above the entry price. Therefore, even if the stop is hit, I will have some profit in the remaining position after exiting partial position with a bigger profit. On Friday, it has a bullish shape candle. If price continues to go up from there, then I will be able to let profit run on the remaining position. That was SSRM where you could take a breakout long trade in a stock that was neither at pendulum price extreme high or pendulum price extreme low in terms of valuation also it was in the middle and it had excellent earnings growth these four examples illustrate how you can use the 360 degrees technique to effectively enter as well as manage trades let me summarize in the previous market roundup I analyzed the market to be bullish. 
and told that though the market was overbought, there was no reason to exit existing long positions and certainly there was no reason to look for shorting opportunities. That analysis was useful. This week market went up further. It made new all-time high for multiple market ETFs. The sectors are also bullish overall though the bullishness reduced somewhat from one week ago. I am continuing with the view that no need to exit any existing long positions. You may continue to hold them with trailing stop. And that is exactly what I did in my existing long positions as I illustrated with four examples. Market is bullish, however, on Friday. In spite of the public announcement of the Phase 1 China-USA trade deal, the market didn't go up, not much. IWM declined a little bit. And the sectors were clearly bearish on Friday. That doesn't mean the market became bearish. It just means that it is useful probably to apply trailing stop on any existing long position and if the market weakens there will be plenty of overvalued stocks where you may look for shorting opportunities that is only if the market declines next week for now the market is remaining bullish that is all that I plan to share in today's session thank you for attending I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.